Hello, Jason Niemeyer here again with another Photoshop CS2 tutorial on layers. I know a lot of you have trouble with layers, don't really understand it. Hopefully I can clear it up with some basic entry-level layering help for you guys. We're not going to go into layer masks or anything real complex, just basically talking about layers and how they work. Um, hopefully you took my tutorial on how to remove a background from clipped images. It was a pop can. I'm going to bring that pop can in real quick here. There it is. As you can see, this is the background layer, and this is the second layer here. And, and it shows the pop can as being the first layer. We're going to just move that off to the left, and we're going to control V, paste in another pop can. This pop can, we're going to free transform its size by holding the shift button down and then dragging the marquee to reduce the size. And you want to hold the shift button down so it'll do it proportionally, otherwise it'll distort it. Grab the arrow key and hit apply move that pop can over and then we're going to hit layers arrange send it behind the other one so we have control of these layers to do that with I'm going to adjust the can with my keyboard arrows so I can get it where I want it and I'm going to control V bring in another can just like that one we're going to free transform this one as well we're going to make it a little bit smaller than the last one we're going to apply that transformation and we're also going to take that layer, send it to back. I'm going to line it up. I like to put the top of that K right there. And I'm going to raise that up so it looks like it's just coming down in perspective. And we're going to bring in one more can. And I'm going to do the same thing with that. It's going to be smaller yet. Apply. And we'll bring that can to the back. Arrange to back. There you have it. I think that can needs to be just a little bit smaller yet, and we can still do that because we're still working on that layer. And there it is. Apply, and I'll make a quick adjustment there where I want that can to be, and that looks really good. <coughs> now, let's uh, do a little bit of shadowing work. Right now, I can see that there's a highlight on the face of that can and there wouldn't be normally on each one of those cans. So we're going to keep it on black, grab the brush tool, come up here and turn the opacity down to about 16%. Get a little bit bigger brush, a little bit more. That looks good. On the starting on the rearest most can, furthest most can, we won't paint on this can because we're only working on that last can's layer. So we're just going to go right over top this here and we're just going to knock that that sheen out and put a little bit of shadow right there. See how that works? Now we're going to go to the next one. We're going to do the same thing. Knock out that sheen right there. Just putting a shadow of the one can on the other. I'm going to get rid of that. Get rid of that sheen right there. And that puts a real nice shadow on the next can. How's that look? Doesn't that turn out really good? A little darker right there. I think that looks great. Now, another thing that you can do at this point, once you've done all the shading on indiv individual cans that you want to, you can flatten that layer. That puts them all on one layer. Now we can grab our magic wand tool, click on the background, and there's just all kinds of things that we can do at this point. And one of them is, is that we could select inverse and we can take this whole thing now and we can go edit copy edit paste and then we can take that image which is in itself just another row of pop cats. we can make hey look at there Isn't that neat or we can do something like we did with the other pop can the other time and just go edit excuse me Edit, transform, and we can flip it vertically, which turns them upside down. And now we got to do some interesting things here. We actually have to make that look like it goes in perspective. So we kind of got to distort it a little bit. So uh, let's go distort and just, just play around with all these wonderful shapes that we have here. So we're trying to get it so we can get a little bit of a reflection effect again. Just kind of play around with that. And we'll see what we can come up with on that. 
and get it really close that looks like it might work right there so I'm just gonna go apply and I'm gonna still be on that layer of this image and we're gonna turn that opacity slider down just a little bit okay and we don't want all of that in there so I'm gonna grab that eraser tool again a nice dithered soft brush make it a little bit bigger and turn the opacity down just a little bit and just kind of airbrush some of this out get a little bit bigger brush just kind of makes it look like that sitting on a shiny surface right there I don't want a, a whole bunch of that reflection showing through but we do want some of it okay now we gotta make the brush a little bit smaller and go all the way up with your opacity and then get the cans reflection off the cans how's that looking that looks pretty good now let's go back down to the background layer let's click on the background again and we're gonna be working in this area we need a shadow behind the cans so with our opacity up nice brush we're just gonna lay in a shadow back here we don't want to get too carried away that might have been a little too much I want to get this perfect for you let me just start all over that's the beauty well, not quite right they don't look too bad I kinda like that and I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller and turn the opacity down just a little bit so we can get in here and do some shadowing we need to deselect select deselect just do a little bit of shadowing in here in between the cans that looks real good now I can go up into my special filters you probably won't have this you can make a a little starburst glint if you want to come up and get some white like this kick that up a little bit you can put a nice little glint oops kick up the opacity nice little glint on the can right there if you want to add a little bit more pizzazz get another soft brush get it a little bit bigger and put the highlight that we took out earlier out of the cans back in the cans and we can do that easy enough by just going right straight down the can with that white see there we can put that highlight right back in right here where it would probably be catching and then airbrush that right back in look at that how does that look it's all about layers pretty simple stay tuned for another tutorial we'll make some more hope you like what I'm showing you if you have any questions make sure you ask on any of my tutorials comments if you want to see a specific tutorial let me know I'm happy to help you goodbye my name is Jason Neymar take care